Happy Friday. Thanks for clicking to WYTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki. Our Friday night, the Great Lakes pretty active here as we're seeing some snow coming into the region that will linger through tonight. But as high pressure builds in, we're going to change the wind direction a bit into our Saturday. That will shut down that snow for us and we'll look for those clouds to eventually thin out too. Now, winds, they are going to be brisk through your Friday evening. They're not as strong Saturday morning or for Saturday afternoon, but this will be a light enough breeze or a breeze enough of a breeze there that wind chills will still be noticeable a bit into our Saturday. So what we're looking at for wind chills overnight uh, dropping and hovering in the teens as low as about upper single digits possible here and then through Saturday we'll keep those wind chills in the teens through a large part of the day as highs only go into the lower 30s. So what we're looking at on future cast will be those scattered snow showers coming in picking up on that still at about 6 a.m. on our Saturday. That's around the time we're going to look for this to start to shut down a bit as we go through the rest of the morning. Snow tapers and we'll still have plenty of clouds around early on in the day, but into the afternoon we could squeeze out some peaks of sunshine here. Heading into the evening, I do expect these clouds to continue breaking apart. So closer to sunset, likely to see a little more sun. And then overnight, well, skies clear out. So no weather worries going through our Saturday night as temps drop down to the lower 20s to kick off our Sunday. Now we will be a little warmer Sunday. We're going to start the day with a lot of sunshine and heading into the afternoon, those high temperatures jumping to the upper 30s, perhaps flirting with 40 degrees, especially south of Youngstown. And into the evening Sunday, that's our next chance for a few snowflakes. Now I don't expect this to be a big deal for us, but we are going to watch for some snow showers and flurries coming through. We'll see those through the evening into the early part of the night, and this could again put down another dusting of snow early Sunday night as we head into uh, the start of our next work week on Monday. So looking ahead for tonight, we're going to see slick spots still possible on the hassle factors list, but I don't expect that to be a widespread risk. But keep in mind, parking lots and sidewalks anywhere where there was leftover water from today that will certainly freeze up. So slick spots remain a concern for us into the start of our weekend. Snow not going to be a big deal, but we will see snow showers and flurries and wind still a factor for us. Low of 15 degrees degrees feels like temps as low as the upper single digits accumulation for that snow, a dusting up to an inch possible, a flurry or two lingering in the morning as we see plenty of clouds around. But by the afternoon, we'll see those snow flurries tapering and then we slowly look for those clouds to break apart for our Saturday. So 33 degrees are high for Saturday, 22 the low Saturday night with a few clouds. Then Sunday, well, a little warmer as we go to the upper 30s to near 40. It will be a little blustery, though, and we'll see again that chance for some snow into Sunday evening. Not a lot of accumulation with that. Now, the next several days, there is not a lot of movement in those temperatures until we come up on Friday of next week. You see low 30s again Monday, then back to the upper 30s on Tuesday. Tuesday, we have a chance for a mix of some rain and snow, and I'm also watching for a few sprinkles or flurries around on Wednesday and Thursday next week. By Friday, though, we look for temperatures, some warmer air starting to push in, and that spikes those temperatures into about mid 40s with a little sunshine.